ISEM valve could leak for several reasons. One, there could be debris in there. Two, it could just be cracked and broken, or the PVC could be stretched out. Step one is to take out the old valve. To take out the old valve, you're gonna need the ISEP wrench. This is gonna come in your repair kit, and it's even labeled on there which way is open, which way is closed. So you're just gonna turn this. Now it's loose and you're just going to pull this top piece up. So the valve has three pieces. This top cap, it's got this piece right here and then it has another piece in the board. So a couple things you want to inspect right away is you want to inspect this spring, see if this is still operational. You want to see if there's any debris in here or anything preventing that from sealing tightly. Because it's possible there's just something right there, you just remove that, put it back there and screw it in. The next thing you want to inspect is this edge right here. You want to make sure that there's no cracks in the PVC or it's not stretched out because you're gonna need a layer of PVC in between these two like that. If there's a, a crack in any of this seat right here or if it's stretched out, then you're gonna have to take some of your, your repair kit right here and glue that down on the, on the crack or on the stretched out part. So this piece right here is actually in the board. They're not glued down, so they can slide around in the board. You wanna try and line this up right there and not move around the board. Just for another illustration, this is, is what it looks like. Once you take this top piece off, this bottom piece is gonna move and it can slide around in this. This is the inside of a board. This is gonna be like right there. And then if you move the board around, it can get really buried in there. It can be a really big mess trying to get that back. So you can see these little hairs right here. This is the drop stitch material. You don't want that sticking out. You wanna get that behind the valve. So I'm gonna pull the valve over, push that hair down in there back in the board, push the valve back, bam, there we go. Then you can just take this, this new one and screw it back down on top of that. Now when you're screwing it back down, the bottom piece in here is gonna be twisting. There's nothing down there to hold it. So you kinda have to hold it from underneath as you're twisting. So there it's tightened by hand. Now I'm just gonna grab the wrench and then once you get to the wrench, you shouldn't have to hold the bottom of it anymore. I want to get this thing pretty snug. And that's it. That's all, folks. <laughs>